us once again we're back to give you our exciting videos and today we intend to show you on how to deal with more than one attacker Personally, you, have, you happen to be in danger like you you are on your way and some persons not one more than one however the number may be but more than one comes to approach you like in form of attack so we want to see how you can uh, make yourself free from such attack and do what you know to do and then probably escape from them or finish them up before you find your way out so we are going to find that out as we go on this documentary let's stay tuned and um, once again i keep reminding you first timers do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell please uh, the, go and enjoy this shot so that you will be able to do it yourself because it's there for everybody to do all you need to do is just to learn the moves and know the skills that's all let's go on okay the first thing we're going to do today is this the first thing you must observe or try to take note of when such thing happens if one person attacks you is different when you have more than one person for instance like we have three people are like this in chain on a line approaching now you you first of all think of either if you want to move to the person in the center what about the two piece persons here and if you also want to wait for the three of them to advance to you you still might have it difficult but to make it easy, what you do is, first, you either take some steps back and observe their movement. If they still come in chain like that, you now decide either to go to the one at the extreme here or to the other one at the other extreme. Because you need to take your first attack on one person and the, your first attack on the first person must not be a child's play because you know you have more people waiting to step in just in a second so the second you waste with this person you will put yourself in a state of danger so once this person comes up what you will do must be very devastating finish up with him immediately and then get set for the next person coming and of course the first person must always be a point to learn for the others to learn from because that's why i said your first attack on this person must be very devastating because if you play with this person it will now give the others morale to really come up but there's what you will do to this first person that will make the rest think twice if you give this person a very devastating attack in a split second they will try to retrace their steps because pop up and is down they will want to come down and calculate they will now know that ah they are embarking on a dangerous journey but if you play with this person ah they will just say ah this is just uh, one of the uh, uh, what to feed on they, they, they just say they have something to feed on so you don't play with the first person that comes to you or that you go to when you have more than one person in front of you to attack you all right so that is how it goes another point for you to be safe entirely like I said already, you give him a devastating attack, either him or the one at the extreme. But you don't go to the one at the center. The only way you can go to the one at the center is if they are sparsely apart. And probably you realize that the one at the center is more vulnerable to you. 
and the space between them is far enough that can make you deliver in a split second and then wait for the next or go to the next person because you will not wait for the two of them to close so like i said your first attack will send a message to the rest so if you discover that the one at the center is most vulnerable that you can strike him at once in a split second and is down you will now have to check the space in between them and go in for him deal with him in a split second and then go to the next person so those are the few steps you must follow if you allow yourself to be flustered you might not deliver at most or highest you might succeed to bring one person down but how about the rest because when you are clustered you will not have space and once you don't have space you are choked and you can't do anything the techniques will die because you don't have space you are choked so you need space to execute now you circle around all right now this aspect they are coming advanced and moving why I'm doing this is because I don't want them to cluster, to close me in. Now what I want to do from here, from this point, I am close to almost all of them. The same distance is almost the same with all of them. Now I am moving advanced as I'm moving advanced. Okay, now pause. From this point, I discover that each step of advancement or each step of retreat I make, they advance equally. So now, the space in between me and all of them is almost the same. Now, what do I do at this point? Because you need to deal with one person mercilessly just at the split seconds so that you free yourself. Now, what do I do at this point? I have to take a swift move to, I choose where, either here. And once I come here, boom, boom, then once I do this, now when I take that, you can make a move as if you want to come in. Boom, boom. Now that's what happens. Come back here. I make sure what I do to this one here, one, and hard one there, with observing this next man coming, takes me away from the danger like i said if we are close if you are close to this other people here you are in trouble all right now from here the moment he steps in i can deal with him because i have finished here now you rush in as you rush in boom it's up did we get that now come back again come back again the same step I step back and you move the same step. Step back, you move the same step. Now I now choose to rush in here, pull here, and you come in, pull. I know that I have I have already taken charge of, I clear myself with him and him because I have already taken note of what is happening. And I know that they are taking the same space as I am doing backward. They are doing, approaching me with the same space. So all I need to do is, I cannot run because I don't want to run. At least I want to finish up something before I take off. So now I now choose. You have to make up your mind. Very important. You have to make up your mind. Don't think I should do this or I should do that. Just decide I am doing this. And that is exactly what I did. I go to him. Boom, boom, with a devastating attack. Knowing that this, the next one person here is rushing in, and I take this car and take him off. And from there, if I want to run, I can run because I have these two down. So if this one has to chase me, I'll take some space off, and he comes, and I now know it is me and him. You get the points now. The point is. I have succeeded to down these other two and I take my space up for the next, the last man standing to approach. 
and he approaches and now I can now relax to be with him because it is now between me and him. That is how it goes. Alright? So, to, to deal with more than one um, more than one attacker needs, requires wisdom and technicality. So please with this, I we're going to pause here for the next shot. I want to remind us again, if you are the first timer, please don't forget subscribe and hit the bell thank you